Hey guys, Jeff with the Flow 2 Fishing Forum here. Um, so uh, recently I was approached by a company called uh, J Bros Lures who actually asked if I would, uh, you know, take some other baits out and give them a shot and uh, let people know what I thought. And um, so I did. I purchased a few from them. Uh, we have basically, well, first of all, here's J Bros Lures. Um, I ended up getting a few different uh, styles and um, sizes of baits. Or colors of baits, basically. They're all pretty much about three inch size that I got. Um, there are definitely different sizes, but and they've got a lot more coming soon. Um, what I ended up picking up were their grub, which is unique. I kind of really like it a lot. Um, their ballpoint, uh, which is a Ned type rig, and then the uh, glider, which uh, was what caught my eye originally. Um, you know, if you're a drop shot fisherman, um, you know it's it's definitely a good bait. It it looks like it really work out well. So let me show you basically the glider. This is a three inch flat worm. Okay, um, I'll have this little ballpoint on the end or a little uh, protrusion on the end, but. Their video, man, this thing in the water was just, I mean, the action was unreal. Um, and I was i was impressed by just that video initially, and I've put that on Instagram. If you guys want to take a look at it, or please take a look at J Bros Lures and see what they have to offer. Um, they have a 3-inch, and they have a 5.5-inch. Now, most of you guys know I like to fish a Jika rig. Uh, when I'm fishing saltwater and the Jika rig, you know, looks like this, basically a way to the bottom split ring, and then you've got your worm hook. Um, and that's how I was intending to fish the uh, the glider that they have, uh, but at three inches, uh, you know, I wasn't really thinking straight, and it doesn't really work on a Jika rig. Now, on a uh, drop shot rig with a drop shot hook, this is absolutely killer setup, um, and I will be uh, I'm going to work on picking up their uh, 5.5 inch uh, glider because that will work absolutely tremendous on the jika rig and texas rig or any way you want to rig it it'll be it'll be amazing so that's one of the other things i'm going to be doing here pretty soon for them i'd love to get a hold of that one um the ballpoint here's a ballpoint it's referred to as um it's a ned rig you guys can see the action on the top there um this is the uh hooks that i have set up for it I've got a pretty long collar here i think if i had something a little bit shorter i get a little more action in the tip um, but you know, it's skin hooked in there. If you guys can see that, um, it's pretty weedless. Um, and you know, the other day when I had this out in the water, I wasn't too certain about it. I was like, you know, I think it, I mean, if the fish are there and they're hungry, they're going to eat. But, um, I was pleasantly surprised. I yesterday, or excuse me, uh, last weekend in, uh, out in the lab, um, when I got hit on this, man, I got, I got tore up. I mean, my rod was doubled over every single time. Uh, fish really enjoyed that. And I was just basically hitting the bottom and trolling with it, just jugging along the bottom, just bouncing it as I'm fishing on the other side. And when I got a hold of these, um, the three inch grub, which is not something you'd normally see, this is actually pretty cool. Um, it's got basically two curly tails on both sides. And then the, basically it's referred to a pincer in the center, I guess. Um, this, uh, the action is crazy. Action's crazy cool. Hook it up on a regular jig, jig head, any kind you need, okay? Um, and you fish it like a, a curly tail grub. I mean, just cast it out, let it hit the bottom, reel it in. Um, you can um, ned rig it as well, bounce it on the bottom. Slow or fast, whatever you want to do, it's going to impart some major action. The the extra added tails on here, I, I just, I mean, how could you not want to hit that, right? So um, I ended up fishing with just a regular jig head. Uh, it was probably my third cast, and um, it got picked up on the drop. And uh, it was an angry spotted bass that I got on a pretty decent sized one too. Um, I was fishing the white color uh, early in the morning. Uh, later on with the Ned rig, uh, we're doing the uh, green pumpkin uh, was uh, what was getting hit most often. Um, you know, I, you know, I was kind of interested. They, they offered this up to me, and I figured, you know, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Um, and I'll tell you what, they were they were quick. Um, mailed stuff out fast. I got I got the product really quick. Um, I'm one of the things I'm impressed with. Uh, these things are scented like you wouldn't believe. You open that package up, you will realize when you get them, they're sealed. Okay, you've got to tear the package open. There's a reason for that, because they got some smell in there. And obviously, we know that's always good for fishing. Um, 
One thing I have to say I, I see as a downside, okay, and what I, I'll be honest here is that they're very soft, okay, and being soft, we know, especially in the salt water, these things get hit, they get tore up, okay. That first uh, grub that I tossed out when I got hit, uh, I'm already sp had split the top, and I kept fishing it. I hit two more two more times on it. Finally, it died. It was no good anymore. Um, being that soft. I mean, it's going to give, it's going to give pretty quickly, but reality is we also know if it's soft, it's got a lot of action. Okay. And it's really, uh, um, I, it, it's going to part some crazy good action. So, um, overall I'm so far pretty impressed with these baits. Um, uh, looking forward to getting the 5.5 inch, uh, glider, um, uh, baits in so I can give those a shot on the Jika rig. Cause I have a feeling that's going to be just a killer bait. Nice slow tug across the bottom of the water. And again, guys, you know, I fish mainly salt water. Um, I think it's just going to be an amazing bait to use. Uh, so if you're interested, you want to know more, please ask me, or obviously please go to J bros lures uh, on Instagram and you can definitely find them, um, uh, on the web as well. Uh, Take a look here because I'll put up some more information on how you can find them. Ask them any questions you got and uh, order from them. These things are great. Uh, again, Jeff with the Float Tube Fishing Forum. Thank you for your time. And uh, please take a look at J Bros Lures. I'll be putting more up later. Thanks. Bye.